Well, hello beauties, my name is Shweta Vijay and welcome back to my channel. So today we have monthly favorites and this year I think I need to incorporate a lot of monthly favorites in the routine, in the mix. Uh, instead of just, you know, waiting till end of the year to tell you exactly what's good and what's bad, which I'm still going to do because, you know, my uh, yearly favorite seems to be everyone's favorite. So I just thought to make it a little more easier so that every month if you're thinking of shopping and you've accumulated your money to spend on something that was really nice, obviously my opinion of course, uh, then you know these videos will really help you. So let's start but before I do please this year just make sure that you hit that subscribe button guys just be a part of the family we are all dying here not going to lie we all are sinking all the creators are sinking here on YouTube and it is up to you to keep us alive okay the views are going less uh, you know subscriptions are not going higher likes are not there we are being missed on your timeline you know a lot of us are shadow banned so the only thing that can actually help us defeat all of that is by interaction so if you can even if you do not want to come Comment, just hit that like and subscribe share whatever that you can to make me visible Whew, now that that gown is out of the way let's start with the monthly favorites I've got a whole new book out here like last year what I usually do is every time every month I tried out something that I didn't like did like it all went in a book now the first product that has made it into January favorites is from want skincare now I have spoken about this brand even in the best of 2020 now when you apply a lot of actives there are many times that your skin gets irritated because we all are trying out different skincare not only actives guys it could be even a, uh, an Ayurvedic product that your skin is irritated or your skin is getting taking its time to get used to the product uh, I just feel that sometimes you need certain things that is going to protect the natural barrier of your skin that is going to be like hey no problem I'm there calm down okay calm your drama uh, that's where ceramides and peptides come into picture and one skincare has come out with their barrier boost face formula this has got uh, bakuchiol which is like an anti-aging property this has also got ceramides peptides and it's also got amino acids all the wonderful things to restore the natural balance of your skin barrier to basically calm it down okay just to say it's those very calm silent superheroes for your skin it's skincare like this that restores and protects you know the radiance of your skin it is also you know boosting collagen production so this is formulated so well that all types of skin can enjoy this you know i've got an oily skin at times and sometimes it goes all the way to a combination skin and i have seen myself enjoying this a lot I definitely wear this at night because it's also got rosehip seed oil and it's got licorice root extract which is also wonderful for your skin. It just boosts skin radiance and at the same time it's got uh, niacinamide, okay? It's got a very less percentage of niacinamide. Everything else, you know, is the one that kind of like makes this a winner. But I would still say if any YouTuber is suggesting a skincare product for you, please make sure you patch test right here on your jawline area. Up to about 10 days I would give the product the benefit of the doubt because that could also be purging those small little whiteheads or whatever but if it continues after 10 days then it's an allergic reaction and I would say please stop don't apply anything that irritates your skin so if you're looking out for something where minimalistic uh, skincare routine is concerned I'm talking about a face wash a little bit of toner and you're looking out for a face cream that's got a little bit of an active and a little bit of you know natural uh, extracts like you know rose hip or bakuchiol or licorice then you can definitely go for it it definitely calms the skin down and it's a beautiful beautiful skincare formulation from want now the second one that has made it to the list surprise surprise is from Dermaco. Now I haven't spoken too much about Dermaco excepting for one skincare item from Dermaco which I did not like that's the AHA BHA uh, cleansing uh, the cleanser basically it's the foaming face wash that made it in my not uh, not to buy list of last year but this one it's fragrance free it is super hydrating very moisturizing it cleanses your skin really well it's got just fatty alcohols in this okay which is so so good and hydrating for the skin keep in mind as much as I enjoy using this cleanser thoroughly I don't think this is the one for sensitive skin as well as dry skin it's a complete paradox because it's written it is meant for sensitive skin and I feel that's only because of the SLS ingredient that is introduced out here now sodium laurel sulfate it's not a bad surfactant you guys okay let's not get into the fear-mongering out here because we all know by now it's the dosage of the poison but the 
thing about SLS that is sodium lauryl sulfate is that it strips away moisture and it can irritate uh, a sensitive skin. So if they could just improvise on this, if Dermaco is watching this video and they could improvise on the surfactant and add sodium lauryl sulfate, which is a lot more gentler uh, since it's got a lot more fatty acids, then it's a face wash that would suit every skin type. This face wash right now would only suit a normal combination, especially oily skin. Dermacro is cruelty free. They are a sister company of Mama Earth. The face moist cream. I spoke about this in, I think I introduced this in my top medical store skincare video. Okay, a lot of you loved it. Part two is coming up. Uh, and this one, oh my god, this was something that was suggested by a dermatologist. She had asked me to try this one out. There's nothing oily about it, okay? And at the same time, it is hydrating enough. This has also got a little bit of niacinamide in this. This has got that sun protection factor of 15, like I said, which is not great because 30 and above is something that I would go for. So if you're sitting at home and you are working next to, you know, your window, basically, even then you need a little bit of that protection. And I think an SPF 15, you know, is something that is on the safe end. So this is something that many doctors recommend and keep in mind besides the niacinamide It's not a physical sunscreen. It's a chemical sunscreen and that's my quip about it But you know, there are many doctors that do suggest chemical sunscreens at the same time because not everybody is used to physical sunscreen You know, many people are irritated with zinc uh, as well as titanium So I just feel that it's a wonderful moisturizer more than a sunscreen. It's a very good moisturizer It's got all the fatty elements Alcohol, it's got grapeseed oil so it's hydrating at the same time and this doesn't give you any white cast the fragrance is very subtle it's almost got that Nivea sort of a fragrance but once it goes on the face you won't even sense it at all it comes in a pump it's non comedogenic and it is just wonderful it doesn't clog the pores extremely lightweight what's not to love beautiful product the next that made it to the list is azelaic acid from the ordinary Please pick this up if you are shopping from The Ordinary, you can shop it from cultbeauty.com but you probably will be hit by customs but there is another one called Cosme Cosmetic Club that I usually pick up all my international makeup and skincare from. I shall link it uh, right below in the info bar. They are also wonderful. I think people should venture out a lot more into trying azelaic acid or alpha arbutin. Uh, you know, those are very mild and gentle actives to apply on the face, uh, which because I know so many people are very, very allergic towards vitamin C and they need something that is going to give them that radiance that will help with the pigmentation, that will help with uh, clogged pores, open pores, you know, or it would help with basically acne. Uh, so azelaic acid is something that really comes to the rescue, okay? It is that superhero without a cape. This is 10% azelaic acid, which is perfect, you know, where percentage is concerned in this particular uh, skincare ingredient, 10% is just a wonderful start, okay? It is also very gentle, uh, uh, but you have to patch test this of course, but I know so many who has tried azelaic acid after my last video and you have loved what it has done to your skin. Now with azelaic acid as well as alpha arbutin, you know those Skincare products does take time. I started seeing a difference after about three months with this But actually even after a month, I started to see a difference in my skin. It's so lovely for pigmentation It's lovely for acne scars But I know for a fact that azelaic is usually safe during pregnancy as well as breastfeeding Okay, it is something that I used while I was carrying Nirvana That's only because I got the permission from my doctor So please make sure that you ask the permission from yours. Don't rely on me for it I wanted a product that even after giving birth to Nirvana, I'm not going to suffer the consequences of you know marks and hyperpigmentation. This really, really helped me. And I have a feeling a lot more brands are going to be playing with azelaic acid. Uh, so if you're looking out for a very good one from The Ordinary, pick this one up. In fact, I should do my favorite Ordinary products again, an updated one, it is due, okay? So I better get started with that. Okay, so that ends the skincare. Now let's talk about two makeup products that made it to the list, monthly favorites. And that is, one is the Color Bar Water Bomb Magic Water Primer. <laughs> Such a good primer. Oh my god, Color Bar has kicked it out of the park with this primer. It's so hydrating. It's got this gel consistency. Uh, though it looks like a cream, but when it goes on the face, it just turns into this very lightweight primer. The makeup stays beautifully. It doesn't have that silicone texture. When the makeup goes, it doesn't like suck up that moisture. 
it kind of like works with the foundation you can wear it on its own you can mix it with your foundation and wear it it's so beautiful this primer highly highly recommend this totally worth the money you guys now the next item to make it to the list is k beauty blush this is in dusty rose now hear me out when i saw the review of jovita jovita john's uh, review on the k beauty blush check it out okay if you're looking at buying it then go check out that review and over there she did mention that you know don't go buy the swatch or how it swatches on your skin and she's right you guys because when i started to swatch this on the back of my skin i was very very disappointed i heard her out and i applied it on my cheeks and when it translate what it translates onto your face that's a whole different scenario this is why a lot of makeup artists and makeup brands keep on saying that don't go buy the swatches of a certain product okay you should see how it applies on the face because a lot of times the way that it's formulated and pressed i'm talking about the powder it shows its pigmentation on the face okay rather than just taking it with your finger and swatching it on the back of your hand it's very buildable that's what i love about this blush it's not something that immediately when you apply on your skin it goes bam uh, you know you have to go on with it maybe twice and then you see the color and the color is this very natural flush of color k beauty is killing the game right now it's not too powdery nor is it creamy it's just a beautiful blush that just gives you this beautiful flush of color so those are the two makeup items that came to the list the next one is a body product and this is the mom's co natural body butter this i got while i was pregnant okay a friend of mine gifted me a hamper from mom's co and i started using this fell in love with it went and bought another one because it's super hydrating it's a proper body butter you know just a little goes a long way uh, you know it just hydrates the skin really well uh, nothing irritating about this because it's formulated for you know women who are carrying who are breastfeeding so if it's safe enough for a pregnant lady it is safe enough for everyone okay it's just like skincare that is safe for children is safe for everyone the fragrance itself is not too nauseating it's just got that hint of that vanilla fragrance there's a lot of mom's co product that i adore and this one definitely has made it into that top list okay beautiful body butter okay so now let's finish off with a food product which i know i've never spoken about food things in my monthly favorites in the past but i just feel i should talk about it right now and that is the urbana superfood now urbana superfoods is an upcoming brand you know they are all about sustainable sourcing their farm produce are hygienic it's extremely safe i spoke about this on my insta stories and a lot of you went and bought their kale powder but what stood out for me besides their turmeric powder which is just unbelievably good okay spices that has got absolutely no milavat but what i loved out of everything is the superfood brown seed mustard oil this is odorless unrefined unadulterated and this is made in small small batches okay this is freshly made look at this we've almost finished the bottle now as a malayali we love our coconut oil and the reason that many malayalis refrain from mustard oil because i know in bengali cooking and many punjabi food they use mustard oil and for me i have no problem with mustard oil but for some people no it's a bit too strong and a bit too pungent this has to be the first mustard oil that doesn't give you that pungent kick it's very subtle but at the same time the food taste incredibly good i don't know whether it is because it is brown seed mustard oil that is why it's a little more subtle uh, and less pungent but please check this out because mustard oil anyway is fabulous for the system it's very very good you know for the hair it's good for the body it's good for your skin you just know that it's quality you can make out the difference between a store bought one and something that is made out of small fresh batches and sold uh, so i just think that this is a fabulous oil and if you're looking out to supporting uh, an upcoming made in india brand that gives job opportunities to people at the same time and something that is clean from the source then check out urbana superfoods and especially this unrefined oil now that the products are over i also want to do something new with my monthly favorites and talk about probably a series or a movie that i enjoy because i do a lot of it on insta stories and many of you love my recommendation where movies are concerned or a series okay and the movie of the month 
goes to the great Indian kitchen. It's a Malayalam movie. There's a lot of realness to Malayalam films that is lacking in many Bollywood films right now. And I just feel that where storyline is concerned and scripting is concerned, nothing is able to match the storyline of many Malayalam films. I cannot believe this is what I was told that Netflix and Amazon denied, uh, you know, showcasing this beautiful, precious gem on their platform. And they've got some really silly films on Netflix right now. This film, you have to, I'm not going to talk much more about it because I don't want to give any spoilers out here, but I'll give you a gist of it. It basically shows what a patriarchal society is all about and how strong it is, okay? Kerala is a very matriarchal society, okay? And we are very, very proud of it. Women are treated really well in many households, but there are still some Indian households that have got a certain mindset that what a woman should do in the house. That is what is beautifully portrayed in this movie. But the beautiful storytelling out here and the actors, that is Nimisha and Suraj, uh, the main lead, the way they portray their emotions, especially Nimisha, I think she has beautifully carried this entire movie on her shoulder. It talks about the pain, the struggles, uh, the passion, the ambition that a woman goes through, uh, you know, and how difficult it is to basically put out her needs, her wants and her desires as well as live her dreams in a very beautiful manner. You guys need to watch this film. There are subtitles. This is only available at kneestream.com. It definitely portrays the quote, you know, way to a man's heart is through his stomach. But I just feel that it has a flip side to it and it can also be a dangerous thing. Just watch this film and take my word for it. It's a gem of a movie. You know what? I really enjoyed making this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this monthly favorites. I do want to do this more often. Let me know what has been your January favorite. What film, what series, what food product, uh, what skincare, makeup, whatever it is. Just let me know in the comment section. Interact with me. Let me know. I love reading your feedback. As you know, I always interact with you. I always respond to all of you. Yeah, looking forward to doing the same even now. Until later, bye for now.